Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god. What's that? My voice! My voice is gone. I'm sorry. Whoa! What? Has it been this bad? Anyways, I'm dying, in case you couldn't tell. This is just me filming an intro for a video that I filmed like three months ago. I originally filmed this video for my vlog channel, and it's literally just me going through all my clothes and getting rid of stuff and selling it on my Poshmark, which will be linked down below if you wanna buy any of the clothes I'm selling. I just really badly needed to clean out my closets, so I decided to make a video out of it, and I was gonna post it to my vlog channel, and I never did, and my vlog channel's been very inactive, so I just wanted to kind of post this to my main channel and see how it does, see how you guys like it. It has nothing to do with animals. I may have made the title, you know, cleaning my closet to make room for more animals, but that was a lie. I just did that as a joke. I'm not getting more animals. I just needed to clean my closet because it's getting kind of crammed. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more just random content like this. And without further ado, let's go clean my closet. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is empty all of my closets, which are currently a mess, and put all of my clothes out on my bed. So this is the Marie Kondo method where you put all of your clothes on your bed so you can see everything that you own all in one spot. And it's supposed to make you realize how much of, just how many problems you have that you have that many clothes and it makes you realize that you need to get rid of some of them. So I have two closets, one in my bedroom, one in my animal room, both of them full of clothes because they don't fit in one closet. <laughs> And I also have a bunch of drawers over here that are full of clothes and I'm going to empty most of them out. I have a couple drawers that I know I'm gonna keep everything in them, but all the drawers that are just packed full of stuff, I'm gonna empty out onto my bed as well. So let's do this. I, I don't think I've ever seen all of my clothes just in one spot before, so I'm definitely excited for this. <laughs> Okay, the first stack is here. This is all my one closet in this giant stack. Wow. Okay, so just so you guys can get an idea, this stack was all my clothes in my first closet, which I feel like it doesn't look as bad as it is because it's all kind of scrunched together. And then that is the other stack. And then this pile here is just all of my pants. Um, I have a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so it's time to begin sorting. So basically you just hold each article of clothing and you see if it sparks joy, and if it doesn't, then you need to thank it for serving you while it did spark joy, but you have to let it go. These are red skinny jeans I bought at Hot Topic when I was in high school. I can't say they spark joy, but I don't know if I wanna keep them or not. I feel like they're kinda cool, you know? Like if you need bright red jeans for some reason, I'm just gonna keep them probably. So I'm doing a pile of stuff I'm gonna keep, and then stuff that's going to get uh, sold on my Poshmark linked down below. I'm also gonna wash everything before I sell them, obviously. My clothes are covered in my dog's hair. These are another red pair of pants. Should I keep them? These are like more like normal red than the other red. I don't know. I'm so bad at getting rid of stuff. See, these are really cool. These are like tie-dye skinny jeans. Again, I bought at Hot Topic when I was in high school but they look kind of cool. Like, I like them. I've actually worn them kind of recently, lol. Like, how can I get rid of these? I feel like for a lot of people, it'd be an easy decision. I like, don't have any desire to wear this. I just think it is so cool. Like, yes, this sparks joy. I'm doing terrible. In case you couldn't tell already, I wear a lot of weird pants. So, this is like, uh, American flag skinny jeans because I used to be a huge all-time low fan 
and Alex Gaskarth wore jeans like this and then I thought they were really cool and I found some like knockoff version from China. I'm probably gonna sell it because I'm probably never gonna wear this again. So if you want some like jeans like this that are like ombre and American flag black and white, it's on my Poshmark. By the way, my waist size is usually like 29 to 30-ish just for reference, but yeah, anyways. I'm basically not getting rid of any pants, okay? That's what we've established here. Besides the American flag jeans, am I gonna keep these? I'm never gonna wear these. I'm gonna sell those too. Should I sell the bright red jeans? I'm probably not gonna wear that either. I need to just let go, you know? Like you can't hold on to every emo aspect of yourself. So I'm gonna sell them. I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, am I gonna do it? They're cool. Aren't they cool? Someone else might enjoy them a lot more than I will. Let's move on to like jackets and hoodies. So this is an all time low hoodie. I actually really like this and I wear it all the time. This is a Totoro hoodie. The hood is his face and ears. Anti-Animal Cruelty Club, keeping that. I'm bad at letting go of things, okay. Obviously keeping this one. Like, is that even a question? Let's just see if I can find something that I'm not gonna keep. I wear pretty much everything. Okay, so I found something. You guys are literally gonna hate me, but this 21 Pilots jacket that I got from a 21 Pilots concert, it was literally 50 bucks and I've worn it like three times and I just cannot see myself ever wearing this again. It's like, it's cool, it's really cool and unique, but it's just like not for me. If anyone likes 21 Pilots, which I think a lot of people do, you can buy that from me. I bought this just cause it's comfortable. I got it for like $11 on clearance at Urban Outfitters. So I'm keeping that. Keep, keep. So this is a 21 Pilots Christmas like, sweater and I'm probably gonna sell it. I just don't, I have a lot if you couldn't tell and I just like don't wear this that much. I have other comfortable sweaters. This is really comfortable though. Like do I want to get rid of this? It says the songs on the radio are okay but my taste in music is your face. Like it has nothing to do with Christmas. I don't need it. I just don't need it, you know? Do I need it? Does it spark joy? Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside so I can think about it. Keep, keep, keep. This is a Volcom zip up jacket hoodie thing. I really, really liked it when I was in 11th grade, you know? Like that's the thing. Okay, so this is a jacket that I love. This is from Armani Exchange. It has like a cool emblem here. And I love this jacket so much, but I am so upset because it does not fit me anymore. It is like way too small. It's like kind of weird. I think I'm too tall for it. The sleeves are fine. So like if you're, you know, shorter than six feet tall, then maybe this would fit you okay. But it's just like, too high up, so any shirt that I wear underneath it is gonna be a lot longer than it. So, probably gonna sell it. Sorry, I never wear it, so you know, what you gonna do? Okay, so this, I freaking love this. This is a fox jacket, and just look how cool it is. It's like my favorite colors, red and black, haha, and it's just so cool. There's like lightning bolts and stuff on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this, cause I think this was literally like $80 when I bought it, and I haven't worn it that many times. I bought this when I was literally probably in like ninth grade, which for reference was like eight years ago. I haven't worn it probably in like five years. I am selling that one. And then I just have like a classic all-time low jacket. I can't get rid of that. So I'm keeping a lot of stuff. I've decided I'm gonna sell this. I like it, I think it's really cool, but again, I just don't wear it enough for me to justify keeping it. And then this, should I sell it? I'm probably gonna sell it. I don't know, I kinda wanna keep it. It sparks joy for me because it's so comfortable. I'm keeping that one. I'm getting rid of some things, at least. It's like an improvement. This is a 21 Pilots long sleeve shirt that I think I bought online. I just don't wear it. So I'm gonna sell this. Story so far, keeping that. This is an American flag Volcom short. 
shirt, 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 shirt. And I'm going to sell it. All time low and pierce the veil spring fever tour. This was like my favorite concert ever. Like the best concert of my life. So I have to keep that. Certified dumpster diver. Keep, yeet. Wow, see like a lot of my t-shirts I don't mind getting rid of. This is a really cool shirt. I've literally had it since middle school, like seventh grade. How long ago was seventh grade? 10 years ago? I'm literally gonna die in like two days, I swear. Okay, another Vans Warped Tour shirt. Keeping, selling, keeping, 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 keeping. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, we're reaching towards the end. A hanger just totally broke on me, that's cool. So I'm gonna get rid of this shirt. This is a DC shirt. Again, from when I was in middle school or maybe like ninth or 10th grade, back when like the monster logo was a big deal and everyone wore shirts with like the monster logo on them. And then it says DC all over the back. Okay, sick, sick. So this is a Huff shirt that I really enjoy. I really like this shirt, it says Huff. It has like a cool looking H. I really like this, it just is way too big for me. I feel like I bought this because I really liked it and they only had it in a large and I knew it wasn't gonna fit but I was just hopeful. Now I'm selling it because I have never worn it. Maybe I've worn it like once and it was way too big and just weird. Okay, cool. I used to love ombre shirts and I still really do. I just have like a bunch of them and they all look the same. This is a really cool shirt. It's half black, half white. And I have never worn it and I'm not ever going to wear it. So I'm selling it. Again, this is an ombre shirt I bought from Urban Outfitters. I remember I saw this on Tumblr and I had to get it. And then I saw it at Urban Outfitters and I bought it. It was probably like $50. like you know, overpriced Urban Outfitters clothes. And I don't wear it anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna sell it. I love that for me. Bought this at Tilly's when I worked there. Still like it, that's a shock. So most of the stuff I already know I'm gonna keep, keep, keep. Again, this dates back to when I was in middle school. Should I keep this? I feel like I could still like this, but I like never wear it. I'm gonna sell this. Wow, okay. Selling this too. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. I'm pretty sure this is like a kid's extra large. I don't know, it's definitely like not an extra large, is it? Actually, it might be. It's hard to tell. It definitely looks big. Why did I buy an extra large ever? This is obviously just like a dress shirt that I need so I have something nice to wear once in a while. Ow. This is my pile of clothes that I'm selling. So that's pretty exciting to me. That's like a decent amount of stuff. Wow, that's cool. Okay. So, if you guys would like to buy any of the clothes from my closet, make sure to check out my Poshmark closet. I think that's what they call it. Link will be down in the description and just buy some of my clothes off of me because I'm trying to get rid of them and I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching me declutter my closet and everything else. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, Check out my main channel and all my social media links down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. And it hopefully won't be me cleaning next time because I'm sure this is not the content anyone wants. Okay, bye.